Hello everybody, welcome back to Neo Bomberman, part of the Retro Replays series. I had to restart the run since I couldn't continue recording earlier today. So yeah, we are... Re I had to redo the entire first world. Of course I did it with cheats in order to make it faster. So at least I recovered some of the items I got. I've been getting some more extra power. I have four bombs. I got the ability to go through blocks. What I couldn't recover was the red bomb, which is called Penetrable Bomb. And also I confirmed through the cheats that there is a remote bomb, it's just a matter of finding it and keeping it for as long as we can. That basically optimizes time. It's the OP type of bomb for pretty much every Bomberman out there. At least I've been getting extra bombs. That's invisibility. Let's see if we can do this. Chain reaction while invincible. Basically allows us to do this faster, even though. Yep, that was a little dangerous. I mean, it could have happened. I don't know if I want more speed, but I'll take it. I don't think having too much speed in this game in particular are much of a problem. I'm trying to destroy a bunch of these blocks before focusing on enemies. I just want to find something really cool like the remote bone. Uh, telling me to hurry up. Still over a minute to go, but yeah, that should do it with that enemy. Is this one of those you can ride? Oh yeah, he, he does become one of those. I guess I can take it from level to level, right? Uh, let me destroy this. Just checking out. Nothing to pick up, so we can leave. Two dash three. So yeah, the first world had five regular levels and a sixth, which is uh, which was the boss battle. But I think that amount will increase throughout the worlds. From what I saw in the cheats, I wanted to continue from two dash one. Which uh, was not quite possible in the in the way I wanted, because after two dash one I had to restart it from one dash one or one dash two. It's basically a replacement uh, for one dash one. So I had to do the entire run, and then I realized that there is a five dash eight. I mean I knew there were five worlds, but they mentioned that at the beginning in the instructions. Remember the ones in Spanish. So wait, I have to really make my way around this? Oh, look at that guy. Super fucking crazy. And... The other one is also gonna get crazy that immediately. I'm taking my time game. And I got two extra... Helpers. In case of an accident. Yeah, I already got the door available, but I do wanna... Okay, these are the booting, the kicking. More firepower even. Let's see. Just trying to find the remote bomb. That's why I'm taking my time. I have enough bombs and enough firepower. That was my mistake. I don't think I want more speed, honestly. This is about enough.
All right, now what? How do I get up of it? All right, through here. I still want to destroy all of these blocks. Yeah, that was a mistake. And now I lost my ability to go through blocks. I didn't kill anybody with that. Yeah, this little guy goes in, in random directions. Alright, I should be able to kill them all with that. Yes! Alright, they take more than one hit then. Almost there, but yeah, he's pretty much doomed. And let's try one last block just in case. Uh, not even a hurry up message, so I didn't take too long. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost convinced that you get those messages or those transitions depending on how much time you take to clear a level. I'm noticing that the bombs are actually destroying many of the blocks. Alright, you are going to die, all of you. Alright, all of these enemies take actually more than one hit. I already have an animal or something that I'm riding, so... So I still need to find the door. I still have enemies to kill, so... Alright, that's the impenetrable bomb or whatever. That was cool. Yeah, they're rushing me already. Oh, I killed a guy. That's cool. Yeah, the impenetrable bomb is alright, but... Oh, I almost forgot about this. Good thing I left it there and didn't destroy it, which would be very tempting since I already was riding on something. Alright, in theory I should be fighting a boss now, but probably worlds are becoming long longer now. Yeah, I'm actually doing a 2-6. Is that the item for me to go through blocks again? Yes. That was a little dangerous. A little bit. It's like sometimes I cannot really distinguish... What is that? Okay, I thought it was an item that you can get. It was just... what? It was one of those blocks. Yeah, I got confused between the enemies that are in the surface and the others that are under the water. Okay, what's the point of these blocks over here? Maybe the door is in there. I mean, it has to be there. There it is. And now I'm gonna get up and, and kill everybody. Alright. That was a little risky. I'm gonna put the bombs in here. Oh, it takes more than one hit. Now, the music could be like very intimidating, but trust me, it is not. Right, I, I need to. Oh shit, I didn't notice. Can you fucking die? You too, please. Oh, he does that shit. Now he's going the other way. That's bullshit. I, I'm now I'm running around time. At least I got an additional partner. Yeah, the problem is that if I die, I lose my my two extra abilities that I've been getting: the red bomb and the crossing through walls ability. 
So yeah, that's why I got this bad transition, basically because I wasted too much time, which confirms my theory. Oh yeah, this boss. Yeah, the fish. It's kind of unusual for a Bomberman game, to be honest. Okay, now they're going a lot faster. Oh, why did I stay there? What the fuck? Alright, the one I've been damaging the most is the red one. Shit! Oh man, that was so close. It's hard to tell. Nice. Yeah, the yellow one was pretty much dead. Nice. Okay, it was done. That's nice. That was a pretty smooth battle then. And now we're using the very same fish to escape. I don't think we're gonna keep it in in game. Alright guys, this is it for today. Next time we're going to do world number three.